guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Ebbs, and oh my gosh, I'm posting a video on this channel. Yes, I didn't fall into another dimension, I pinky swear. I know, I have been really falling down on the job on posting videos here, but there's actually a really good reason for that. For those of you that are new here, I work for a satellite company in the Bay Area called Space Systems Loral, and we build satellites. And unsurprisingly, that's a pretty time-consuming job. The project that I'm working on is working incredibly, incredibly hard to meet our launch date, which is coming up this summer. It's never good to deliver anything late, and you especially cannot deliver anything late in the satellite business, because guess what? You gotta go catch a rocket. It's not like, ah, sorry guys, here's your product a couple weeks late. No, you have to hit a launch window, and we are working very hard to hit our launch window, especially when you're the secondary payload, which is what we are. We are not the primary one. You either gotta bring a satellite, or you you gotta bring the weight equivalent to what your satellite was going to be. So there have been many late nights and a lot of long hours in the last couple weeks for me, and that is why you have not seen any content on this channel whatsoever. Again, if you're new here, what typically will be happening on this channel is I would put out a video called This Week in STEM or Twistem, where I would neatly summarize some really cool STEM related news stories throughout the week, but that has not been happening. Um, just to give you an idea of what goes on with Twistem, let's lay it all out, what I do to prepare for each Twistem video. Typically when I'm looking for a story to cover in Twistem, I look for a couple of different things. First of all, is it cool? But not like just niche cool. Just because I think something's cool doesn't mean that you guys will think it's cool. So I try to typically pick something that will appeal to a large amount of people. Secondly, I try to find something that I can easily break down for you guys to understand. Just because I know a lot about space stuff doesn't mean I know a lot about biology, and that's true I think for everybody. So I typically try to be able to break it down either through humor and terrible jokes, or just to a level where everybody can kind of grasp what's going on in the story. And finally, I try to find a story that has two to three reputable sources. I don't like to get Joe Schmo's science blog and just hope that everything's correct. Being correct and reporting it correctly to you guys is very, very important to me. I have made crazy reshoots at all times of night because I have slightly misspoke on one word that 99% of people won't catch, but it's that 1% that bugs me. So I have gone through great lengths to make sure that everything that I report to you guys is as correct as possible. And if that ever happens where I'm wrong, please call me out on it, please. Cause I want science to be a good learning activity and fun and I want everything to be correct for you guys. And that is just the process for me going through and finding stories. After that, I write out about a page of notes per story, and then I typically try to find three to four stories every week to do. That in and of itself is a lot of work. After that, it takes me anywhere from like, I'd say two, three, maybe four hours to write out the show, an hour to shoot it, and then anywhere from six to as many as 10 hours to edit it, depending on how graphics heavy it is. And I'm editing on a laptop that does not have a lot of power. So it really starts to get slow about the ninth, 10th hour when I have just all sorts of green screen activities happening. But yeah, that's for one Twistem episode. So it's kind of like having a second job, which is why you guys haven't been getting it in the last couple of weeks because my actual job has been taking up all of that time, which is not a problem. It's what I love. I am an engineer first, but it bumps me out because science communication is also something I'm incredibly passionate about, but I'm really, I, I can't tell you guys how appreciative I have been of your understanding and support in the last couple of weeks. What I'm hoping to do now, and that is the next thing I want to talk about, is try out a new format that may actually enable me to start putting out content again on this channel, even with the crazy work schedule. I've had it asked about before, and I really wasn't too keen on it for several reasons, but I think what I'm going to start trying to do is switching to a shorter format, where I cover one story at a time, three to five minutes, um, and just crank out a video whenever I have time to do it. The reason I didn't like this is because you're going to be getting content later than when it comes out. So the reason I like Twistem is you can summarize everything nicely at the end of the week. So it's just basically everything just wrapped up nicely an entire week in summary. But now, if I do this shorter format, um, I will be doing stories a couple days after they happen. So it's not as, it's not like it's, you know, breaking news. It's just a news story with broken down through my eyes a couple days after it happened which could be good. Um, some people have really been asking for this. Uh, when I initially started the channel, I took a poll and everybody seemed to prefer the long format, um, just get the 10 to 15 minute video once a week to digest everything. Um, but there have been some people, uh, one or two along the way that have asked why I don't do a shorter format, and it was for those reasons. 
but now um, just due to schedule constraints, I think I might try out the shorter format. Um, and this is the part where I depend on you guys uh, to let me know what do you think of this. If you like it, maybe we'll keep it. If not, just hang in there uh, and we'll go back to the regular schedule once um, my work schedule calms down a little bit more. But as always, I still need you guys' help. So if you find any really cool STEM-related news stories throughout the week, please feel free to send them to me on Twitter at, at the stimulus. Yes, the stimulus has its own Twitter account now. If you don't know, now you know and go follow it and send that to me at that handle using hashtag twistum and who knows your story might make the show and you could be an honorary stimulus news provider person but you're important and i depend on you and before we go i have one more really cool announcement you guys asked for it and here they are new t-shirt designs this shirt that I'm wearing is a super awesome limited edition stimulus t-shirt designed by Rob Cabrera of Creative Squirrels, friend of the show, co-producer, awesome human being. And it is amazing and I love it so much. But we will be selling this design for six weeks. So if you want it, get it while it's there. I will include a link to the represent website down below. So check that out, get your shirts, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your hamster, make it happen guys. And for those of you that may not want this design, which if you don't, what's wrong with you? It's amazing, it has me and Logan and classic Nintendo and it's amazing just so freaking cool that's fine I guess I'll try not to judge you too hard but you should totally check out my standard logo stuff that I am now selling I will also include a link to that represent website in the description down below so check it out we've got t-shirts we've got hoodies we've got tank tops of all sorts of colors so if you want just a standard stimulus logo shirt check that out also. If you're wondering what this money goes towards, it really goes back into the stimulus and making it better. I've used the money from past t-shirt sales to buy equipment that has made the stimulus better. It will also be going towards my convention fund so I can get out and I can actually meet you guys and talk science with you guys and just kind of help spread the STEM outreach that I'm so stupidly passionate about. So yeah, that's what you're going to be helping me with by buying the shirt on top of looking very stylish and oh so sciencey and sexy, I guess. But yeah, you should totally buy one. But with that, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time, which will hopefully not be four weeks from now. Oh, and also, I got a couch! Couch, 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 and it's awesome. Bye!